This is the Motion Pro Motorcycle Chain Alignment Tool, part number 080048. I'm going to show you how to use it to adjust the chain on your motorcycle. I will also show you an alternative method to check the alignment on your chain. I will be demonstrating this on a Honda Shadow 600. The first thing that I did is I used an 8mm to remove the end, uh, chain guard uh, off the top of the chain. The bike is off the ground and uh, this bike here I had uh, a flat tire so I pat patched the tube and now I put it back on so now I want to make sure the alignment's right on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our tool and you're going to place it over the top of the rear sprocket and then you're going to tighten it down with this plastic tab. I bought this tool off of either Canada's motorcycle or a vicious cycle and it was about uh, 15 bucks. Then you're going to loosen this screw in the back, the fastener in the back. These flat fasteners are plastic so don't uh, screw them down too tight. I'm going to push the pins forward. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll my tire forward and I am going to check the alignment along the, I check my alignment along the chain here. And uh, let's see here if I can get a good angle here. As you can see that chain is aligned fairly well. Okay, now if your alignment is out your alignment ends up being out this way to the left that means that your axle on the right hand side of the bike is too far forward if your alignment is out this way that means your axle on the left is too far forward or your right is too far back um, so that is because as you can see how some turning this you can see the rotation so you got to adjust your axle accordingly. Another way to measure this is to use a tape measure. They always say from the old dirt biking days never trust the marks on the frame. So if you're going to use a tape measure then what you want to do is you want to measure from the center of the spindle to the center of where the swing arm bolts down. So you'd have to take this cover off and then you'd measure from there to here with a metric. Uh, with best would be to use a metric, a metric uh, tape measure, and they do it on the other side as well. Okay, so um, I don't have two free hands, so I can't show it to you. But basically, what you do is give you an example here. You would get that in the center over there, where the swing arm attaches to the frame you'd measure to the center of the spindle and you'd repeat that on both sides. Uh, that's a, it's a little harder to do so for the 15 bucks that Motion Pro tool is pretty darn good. You can buy a laser guided tool to do that for you as well and it works on almost any bike. Uh, the reason why I picked this bike is because I was doing work on the bike but it was also a good example because you'll see this sprocket here is a lot wider than your traditional dirt bike sprocket and uh, or even some of the other street bikes out there so this extra wide carriage on the uh, on the rear sprocket made it a, a really good test subject you can even if you don't like looking down the length of the chain the way I did you can install this both ways and then you can have it and what you can do is You can now run it along the outside of your chain and look at the gap you get from that, like this. So you can install, you can run it both ways. The tool, it doesn't matter. And another neat trick is if you got some slack in your chain and you want to take the slack out in order to align it, you're not going to want to adjust your chain. So I'm going to take my, 
I'm gonna take my pair of pliers here. I'm gonna hang on back this up a bit there. Take my pair of pliers, put it in there, roll my wheel forward just a little bit, and now you're gonna see that I'm gonna tighten up my chain and now I can check the alignment again and it's nice. So that's another trick you can do. This is also a good way when your axle is loose to ensure that your axles are pulling into your chain adjusters here. By doing that, you're gonna make sure that these pull into the little nubs in the adjusters, pull into these bolts and that your chain is properly gonna be tightened. So there's another tip for you, two and one. So that is the Motion Pro motorcycle chain adjustment tool. Thanks for watching.